adventure. Hey guys, how's it going? I am just heading out out of Johnny HQ right now to go on an awesome little expedition I have planned. Love that word, expedition. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Today, I am tackling the challenge because I think it may be somewhat of a challenge, but I'm up for this challenge, guys. I'm so up for this challenge. I'm going to be hitting three super sweet spots on the coast here in California at Palos Verdes. Palos Verdes is like this big hill that's right off the coast of Long Beach or like Los Angeles. It's about 40 minutes from here and they've got some really incredible stuff to go see over there. So I'm so excited. That's where Sunken City is. If you guys look at my earlier vlogs when I went to Sunken City, we will be going back. Are you guys excited for a little Sunken City reunion? So real talk though, does it ever annoy you guys? It's like when you're waiting to turn and it's like as soon as it's clear over there, it's not clear over here. As soon as it's clear here, it's not clear there. It really annoys me. It annoys the crap out of me. It drives me crazy. I'm just like, if you could all just get on the same damn wavelength, pick up the pace, we wouldn't have this problem. Okay, back to happy stuff. So I'm really, really excited about this and one of my friends actually used to go over to one of the spots I'll be taking you to all the time and they loved going and seeing it and one of their favorite things that they told me about which I'm just so excited about is that over there you can find the purple sea urchins. I'm as you guys know just so obsessed with marine life that I when I heard that I was like I'm out, I'm going, let's do it, bye. Apparently the trick though is that you have to go during extremely low top because it's like in the jetty and in like the tide pools and things like that. And it's also like no public access beach. So there's a little bit of law breaking involved, but hey, there's a pandemic. Does anyone really care? Okay, so I did go ahead and look up the tide times for the area I'm going to, but so there are three different places that we're gonna be seeing today, guys. First place is gonna be White Point, which is in Palos Verdes, which is where I'm most likely to probably find those purple sea urchins. You know, I spent some time doing a little bit of research on all these different places and looking at the best way to get to them and the best route and the best way to just kind of get in there um, and get to where I want it to be. I can't wait, so we're just on the road right now, guys. So stick around, let's get to Palos Verdes. first destination on this expedition I'm doing today. I'm so excited. And before I go any further right now, Beth, my friend Beth, I need to give you a shout out because like I told you, I had never heard about this place before. And this place is just my bread and butter. This place is everything. And I am just so grateful. Thank you so, so much. Now back to business. I did go ahead and park and I'll put like a little decal up so you guys can see what I'm talking about. I did go ahead and park at the Royal Palm Beach entrance where there's parking and things like that. A little steep, six dollars to park. But now to get to White Point, which is the part that is like not really supposed to be accessible. It's kind of like blocked off, but you know, that, you know, whatever. I have to kind of trek over there. So I'm kind of taking a bit of a hike now over to to that part of the coast and it's about a quarter mile away so it shouldn't take that long so let's get over there and do some more exploring guys <laughs> Well, it wouldn't be a real Johnny vlog without some kind of problem or issue. I just realized <laughs> that I left my GoPro on top of my car and it's like in the parking lot. So I need to go do that because this is California and people steal shit out here. I'll be right back. <laughs> All right, guys, I made it. I trekked through. I got through that little stupid gate that was practically already open for me anyway. And now I'm here at White Point. And it is so cool. I already see this ginormous tide pool that's just, it's gorgeous from here. I'm just, I'm going right to it, guys. I'm going right there. Wow, this is just so amazing. Oh, I'm so happy I did this today. This is so cool. Oh my gosh, guys, I love this. Wait until you see this, guys. Wait until you see this. Guess what? I found the purple sea urchins. I found them. Oh, I found them. There's millions of them. But you're not gonna see those just yet, so 
stick around and make sure you watch so you can find out what those look like. Everything is just amazing. I finally found a spot of land here where I actually have some level footing and can talk to you guys for a sec. I just want to show you like really, really quickly, for example, like all the rocks, I mean, just the rocks here alone, mother nature's work of art, really. Let me show you. So you see all these little holes in these rocks and stuff like that from all the erosion and from all the animals or sea creatures, marine life, get in here and make homes out of these rocks. And it is just so amazing, guys, so amazing. Okay guys, so as you can tell, I'm just sitting right over the tide pool here, one of the big tide pools. This whole thing right here is like just this beautiful ocean swimming pool. It is just so amazing, so peaceful, and so gorgeous, and just soothing to listen to the water move around in here. It's, oh my goodness, it's so amazing. I really would honestly go swimming, but there's purple sea urchins everywhere. <laughs> this is definitely not like a safe place to swim. Oh my gosh, doesn't that water just look so inviting? Oh, there's a yellow, sorry, there was a yellow jacket, bee, bug, I don't know, something was big as stinger, I was like, get the out of here. So it did, but now I'm back. Just so amazing. I hope you guys are enjoying watching this because this is just like, I could just sit here and listen to this and look at this for all day. I mean, it's amazing. And there's still so much more to explore. And yes, guys, at the end, I will have a huge photo dump for you guys with all the amazing shots I got today. So stick around for that too. We've got a lot of good stuff coming, guys. Thank you so much for watching and let's keep going. So I just wanted to show you really, really quick. I just found a really cool little treasure, my first treasure of the day, I think. And I totally didn't bring a case or anything, and it's really small and really fragile. So I'm actually just gonna be using the two halves of my camera, the housing, and then the lens just to make a little case, just like that. Works for me, so hey, if it works, it works, you know? Guys, look at this sand dollar that I found. That is just, is that not just amazing? Look at that. Isn't that just beautiful? I haven't seen one of these in such a long time. It's not even funny. I'm just gonna go ahead and slip that in there for right now. And this will be where I'm keeping all my little treasures, guys. So I'm really super excited about this. This is, like, I keep saying that, but there's just more and more and more to be excited about. And I'm just having a blast, guys. Having a blast. Another place that you definitely need to check out here in Southern California. You know, maybe I should start, like, a blog about just cool places to go in Southern California, or really anywhere for that matter, because I'm having a lot of fun doing this. Let's go to the next adventure, guys. So I've been going around and getting some really cool shots, and now I'm heading over away from the tide pool area, and uh, heading over, oh, this is some terrain over here, and heading over to kind of where the waves are all crashing. There's kind of like this huge, stone wall that has all these waves that are crashing and hitting and all this really cool stuff. So I'm gonna head over there right now and then we'll see what's popping over there. What's popping? So I got those shots. Hopefully they came out great. I can't really see them because it's too bright out right now. Now I've got to get back up to my car. I could walk like a mile around, but I'm not gonna. So, <laughs> this is what we're left with over here. I'm gonna try to climb up to this because my car is just like right on the other side of these rocks here. So wish me luck. Hey guys, 
guys, how's it going? So I am actually just pulling right into Huntington Beach right now. I did just get back into town. Um, I wanted to go over to the Vicente Lighthouse and to Sunken City as well, but I just spent so much time at this one place at White Point because there was just so much to see and I didn't even put a dent into it to be honest with you. So I'm gonna try to do Vicente Lighthouse and uh, Sunken City sometime next weekend maybe. Maybe I'll go on Saturday, I don't know. I have to figure it out, so we'll see. Maybe it'll make it to this vlog, maybe it won't. I don't know. That's the beauty of a vlog. You really never know how it's gonna turn out, do you? So really appreciate you guys watching. Make sure you subscribe, like below, and definitely tap the notification bell so that way you know when my next video is out. And also guys, please drop some comments. Let me know what you thought about the beach that we were just at. Let me know if there's a beach that you guys know of here in California or any type of place out here in Southern California that you want me to go explore and go check out with my camera and with all my stuff and my gear because I love love exploring. I love it so much. I wanted to check in really quick with you guys, let you know I was back in town, and to stay tuned because we've got more coming. I don't know if it's going to be good or not, but I've got more coming for you. <laughs> Again, thanks so much for watching, guys. You can go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure you tap the like button, hit the notification bell, and guys, leave me a comment. Come on, guys. Leave me a comment. Tell me what you think. Let me know if you have suggestions for other places to explore down here in SoCal. Let me know what's on your mind. Let's talk about it. Let's make something happen. Let's make a video. So comment below. Let me know, guys. I'll talk to you guys soon. So tell me guys, do you ever people watch like around your neighborhood? I just got home from work and not to my surprise, all I hear are power tools across the street again. So if you didn't know, why would you know? Why would you know? I've never told you. The neighbor across the street, ever since I moved here into this place, like two years, oh, there she goes back again. There she goes. Ever since I moved here, like two years ago, the lady across the street, all she does is like woodworking, like in her front driveway. And it's like all you can hear through the neighborhood. You can't get a single thing done. And it's like she does this every single day. And I'm just kind of like, honey, what are you building? It looks like she's about to start doing it again. Uh, do you hear that? I hope you can hear that. Just like the weirdest thing. She just goes out there. She looks like she has no idea what she's doing. No eyewear, no nothing. Just like doing the pachin. Like seriously, honey, what on earth? is the contraption you are building in the back of your house because please tell me you're building like a damn water park back there because I just don't understand. <laughs> I went on a rant, I like to people watch sometimes and this this lady is just like been driving me up a wall. The lighting is awful in here now because I'm not by the window anymore. Don't have my lights up, but that's okay. Guys, I'm gonna catch you guys up as soon as we get down to my car because this woodworking sound happened just in time because I'm just taking off now to go someplace cool and do something fun. So stick around guys, I'll meet up with you down in my car. See you there. Wasn't that amazing? Like magic? Super cool. Here I am in my car. Love video editing! Makes you feel like a god, you know? You can make magic things happen like that. Anyways, I'm getting ready to take off and run a bunch of quick errands, guys, because, because, I'm going back to the beach again. I just feel like if I live so close, like I need to take advantage of it and I'm just obsessed with the beach, so that's what I'm doing. Today, it's not a solo mission. I am picking up my boys and we are going down to the beach in San Diego. Today, we are going to San Onofre State Beach, which is actually really cool because it's like inside of a huge military base, Camp Pendleton, if you've ever heard of it. It's just really, really cool. It's very, very wildernessy, very unoccupied because since it's in a marine base, which is this huge marine base that stretches for like dozens of miles, there's no civilization or anything besides like the marine training camps and things like that, uh, which are like up on the cliff. And this is like a super duper cliffy mountainous type of place that's really, really cool. There's all these amazing cool little hiking trails and things like that. You kind of have to climb down a mountain and climb back up to get there and get back but it's so amazing because you get down there and there's like almost virtually no people and what's really cool about this beach guys I've been to this beach once before but it was before you know I did YouTube so you didn't see it when I went they had all these like constructed 
things made out of driftwood. This is a huge driftwood beach. There is driftwood absolutely everywhere. So any of you guys, by the way, who live in SoCal, if you need like driftwood for like a cool art project you're trying to make or want it to kind of like decorate your house or just, you know, want it for some other reason, this is the place to go, San Onofre, <laughs> okay? So people build all these crazy sculptures and huts and like camps out of driftwood because they'll go down there and camp for a few days at a time. And it's just so amazing. Such a beautiful beach. We are getting ready to go down there right now. So first thing I'm gonna do is go pick up all the little stuff I need, you know, cooler, ice, drinks, lunch, sunblock, gotta have sunblock. You see how white I am? I need sunblock. I also need to go pick up my boys, so I have to pick up Brian and Taylor. We're gonna go do that, and then we are heading down to the beach. Are you guys ready for the beach? Again, I am. Let's go. You guys excited for the beach? Yes. Yeah. Say it better. What's up, YouTube? All right, guys. So we're about to head down this ginormous trail to go to the beach. It is going to be amazing. Oh my god, it's just so gorgeous. I will catch you guys up when we get down to the bottom of this trail. How'd I get on a lifeguard tower? I walked up the window. No, I meant like there was no one at there was no one there at the beach. No, it was like sunset time in the winter. Oh. So Taylor and I are exploring. You find anything cool yet, Taylor? No. Nope. Nothing cool Just yet. Just this dead plant. Just this dead plant. Okay, delete this place. We're filming. What's up, Tay? You having a good day? Yes. Every day is a good day. No, it's not. What an awful thing to say. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> but today's a good day. Today's a great day. We are just chilling, going around this beach right here. The water is freezing AF. Freezing as But that's okay. Everything's going so amazing. I don't even know what time is it. Five. It's five on the dot and Three. it's time to drink. <laughs> we'll get you a drink, Taylor. Taylor says it's time to drink, so we gotta find Taylor a drink. Maybe we can find somebody on the beach who's like willing to like give Taylor a drink, maybe, who knows. Just checking in, I hope you guys are having an amazing day today. Uh, as amazing as mine is, I gotta put those back down. <laughs> hope you guys are having an amazing day. Make sure you get out and have time for adventures like this. It's really important. Like I just have one day off in the next 14 days and I made sure to take my one day off to get here today and live my life and just have my best day ever. So make sure you guys are getting out and putting yourselves first and doing what you need to do to make you happy. This is Johnny and I'm at the beach and I'll catch you guys later. We're just walking and trekking back up to the car. I feel like there's some block all over this camera and it looks like crap, but that's okay. Oh my goodness. I feel like I'm in a safari. It's so beautiful over here, guys. So beautiful. Alrighty guys, we are just heading back up this hill here. Look at me with my hat and my shadow. Doesn't that look cool? It looks cool. That's kind of steep. Oh, okay. You got it, Taylor? Yeah. 